वेलकम एवरी वन टूडे आई विल डिस्कस कॉन्सिस्टेंसी एंड इनकॉन्सिस्टेंसी ऑफ लीनियर साइमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन बाय मैट्रिक्स मेथड दिस इज कॉन्टिन्यूएशन ऑफ ऑल इयर्स वीडियो सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन द थ्योरी पार्ट रिलेटिंग कॉन्सिस्टेंसी एंड इनकॉन्सिस्टेंसी of linear simultaneous equation now this is of part 2 consider x plus y plus z equals to 0 alpha x beta y this three equations are given they are homogeneous equations we know homogeneous equation has unique solution that is solution is trivial or infinitely many solutions so it has unique solution infinite solution so whatever may be the case we have to calculate first delta so delta equals to 1 1 1 alpha beta gamma alpha square beta square gamma square now this is well known problem of matrix so if we this is 1 1 1 in first row if we use c1 arrow c1 minus c2 c2 arrow c2 minus c3 then we get alpha minus beta beta minus gamma gamma minus delta sorry gamma minus alpha in cyclic order very very simple problem for board exam so we get this relation now if alpha equals to beta equals to gamma then delta equals to zero that is infinite number of solution if alpha equals to beta not equals to gamma or beta equals to gamma not equals to alpha alpha equals to gamma not equals to beta then also delta equals to zero that is if any two variables alpha beta gamma are equal then also delta equals to zero infinitely many solution many solution so look at the answer unique solutions for all alpha beta gamma so unique solution delta not equals to zero if alpha not equals to beta not equals to beta not equals to gamma then unique solution so this is not correct in find in number of solution if any two of alpha beta are equal in find in number of solution if alpha beta gamma is equal so option b and option c are correct options now we consider two similar problem problem number 3 and 4 they are exactly same if a b c are real number Suppose that there are real number x, y, z not all zero. That is non-zero solution of the set of equation. Then a square plus b square plus two a b c equals to what? Now exactly same. A x plus a y equals to z. The system of equation this this has non-zero solution. that is homogeneous equation non zero solution so what is condition delta equals to zero so consider problem number 4 first so non zero solutions so non zero solution so delta equals to zero what is delta a a minus 1 b minus 1 b Minus one c c equals to zero. Now we have to expand it. 
Oh, look, look at the answer. Answer is given in this form. 1 plus A, 1 plus B, 1 plus C. So we do not expand it. We try to <coughs> we try to express this determinant in the form of 1 plus A, 1 plus B, 1 plus C. The 1 plus A So, this is 1 plus A, 1 plus B. So, write R1 arrow, R1 minus R2, R2 arrow, R2 minus R3. So, this implies A minus B. A plus 1, minus 1, minus B. So, we are getting A minus B. So, no need. So, write A plus 1. So, R1 minus R3. Then, we are getting also A plus C. So, same. So, so R1 minus R3. So, A minus B, A plus 1, minus common 1 plus B. So, R2 minus R3, B plus 1. So, if we take this operation, look, no term is 0. So, we change our transformation. We are getting no term as 0. So, we use column operation. So, C1 arrow C1 minus C2. So, we are getting 0 here. C2 arrow C2 minus C3. Yes, it will be simple. So, this equals to 0 B plus 1 minus common 1 plus C. C1 minus C2. This one is 0. So, A plus 1 minus common 1 plus b this is 0 1 b c we are getting advantage here so 1 plus b 1 plus c and some 0 also so expanding it so a plus 1 minus a plus 1 so b plus 1 into c b plus 1 into C, B plus 1 into C, minus, minus minus a plus, B into 1 plus C, B into 1 plus C, then this one, plus 1 into, this is 0, this is again minus, 0 minus, 1 plus B, 1 plus C, equals to 0. So, finally what we are getting? Look. Minus A plus 1, B plus 1 into C. Minus B into 1, A plus 1, 1 plus C. Minus 1 plus B, 1 plus C equals to zero so this is our main aim to express the expression in terms of one plus b one plus a one plus c now divide throughout by a plus one b plus one c plus one so c by c plus one b by b plus one one by one by one plus a equals to zero now, answer is 1 by a plus 1. We are getting this. <coughs> Look it again. This one is minus. So, it will be minus 1. So, minus 1. So, minus minus a plus. So, this is plus. 
and we are getting minus minus this plus equals to zero. Now we add one on both side. This is one. Here also we are adding one. This one is unchanged equals to one plus one. So finally we are getting C C cancel one by C plus one, one by B plus one, one by one plus L equals to two. So what will be the answer? Answer will be two. Now look it again. So this one has non-zero solutions. So not unique solution. Delta equals to zero. Operating C1 minus C2 and C2 minus C3. Now this one is minus. That is why this one is minus. So value is 2. Now previous one. Previous one exactly same problem. Exactly same problem. Only look answer is in different form. So if we simplify this result. We get this one. So no need of <coughs> any column operation or row operation. So just if we transfer this 1 minus C minus B minus C 1 A this is minus B minus A 1 equals to 0. So non zero solution. So delta equals to zero. So look at the answer. Answer is, is this form. So you expand by ordinary expansion method. One into one plus a square. One into one plus a square. Plus c into c into minus c plus <coughs> minus minus c and minus minus plus so minus c plus a b minus b into minus b into minus so this is a c this is a c plus b so look it again one minus c minus b minus c this is one this one is minus a this is b minus b minus a one so one into one plus a square so minus minus plus so this is plus c c so minus c minus a B. So minus B. Minus B. This is A C plus B. And this is 1 into 1 minus A square. So finally we are getting minus A square minus C square minus B square plus 2 A B C plus 2 A B C. So ABC into ABC plus 1 equals to 0. So multiply by minus A square, B square, C square minus 2 ABC equals to 1. So what is the value? Value is 1. So these two problems are very, very simple problem. Now we consider two similar type of problem problem number five and seven <clears throat> first consider problem number seven the system of equations non-homogeneous infinite solution no solution unique solution so for unique solution delta not equals to zero infinite solution we calculate delta equals to 0, then there are two possibilities. So, we find first what is delta. 
coefficient determinant. So lambda 1, 1. 1 minus 1, minus 2. Minus 1, 1, 1. So expand it. Lambda into minus 1 plus 2. Minus 1 plus 2. Minus 1 into 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2. 1 into 1 minus 1. So lambda plus 1. So delta is lambda plus 1. So delta equals to 0 implies lambda plus 1 equals to 0. So lambda equals to minus 1. So we are getting lambda equals to minus 1. So delta not equals to 0 if lambda not equals to minus 1. So if lambda not equals to minus 1, then we get unique solution. Lambda not equals to minus 1. Lambda not equals to minus 1. So this is not equals to 0, unique solutions. So this one is not true. Lambda not equals to 1. This one is not true. So infinite number of solutions. So lambda equals to minus 1. Infinite number of solutions. Infinite number of solutions. So lambda, if lambda equals to minus 1, then delta not equals to 0. So unique solutions. So this is not possible. So one option is remaining. This one. Lambda equals to minus 1. Infinite number of solutions because delta equals to 0. If lambda equals to minus 1, then what we are getting? <coughs> Lambda equals to minus 1. Infin infinite number of solutions if lambda equals to minus 1. So, <coughs> lambda minus 1. So, minus x plus y plus z equals to 3. So, x minus y minus x plus y plus z equals to 3. So, minus x plus y plus z equals to 3. So, listen again. Delta, we are calculating delta. Delta equals to lambda plus 1. So, if lambda not equals to minus 1, then delta not equals to 0, then we get unique solution. So for unique solution, lambda not equals to 0. So this is not possibly answer. If lambda not equals to minus 1, then delta not equals to 0. So it has unique solution. So it is not possible. If lambda not equals to minus 1, then delta not equals to 0, then it has unique solution. So this one is not correct. So this is only the possible option. So answer. So there is no restriction on mu. So mu can take any value. So lambda not equals to minus 1 and mu equals to 3. Mu equals to 3 if we take <laughs> so lambda not equals to minus 1 and mu equals to 3. Mu, there is no restriction, so mu can take any value. So if we take lambda equals to minus 1. If we take lambda equals to minus 1 and mu equals to 3, then first equation is minus x plus y plus z equals to 3. 
So minus x plus y plus z equals to 3 mu 3. So they are, they represent same equations. They represent same equation. Infinite number of solutions. Next. <clears throat> problem number 5. Exactly same problem. The value of lambda and mu for the system of equations has unique solution. Unique solution. System of equation has unique solution. So we calculate delta. One, one, one. One, two, three. 1 2 lambda 1 1 1 1 2 3 1 2 lambda so 1 into 2 lambda minus 6 1 into lambda minus 3 1 into 2 minus 2 this is 0 so we are getting lambda minus 3. Two minute. So for unique solutions, for unique solution, delta not equals to 0. Here it is called, it is given that unique solution. So lambda not equals to 3. So lambda equals to 3 not possible. This is not possible, so lambda not equals to 3. There is no restriction on mu. So mu can take any value. Mu can take any value. So option D is correct option. Option D is correct option. Now we consider problem number 10. Last problem. The system of equation has infinite number of solution. Exactly three solution. No solution, unique solution. So we have to calculate delta. So one, two, three. So two, three, one. Three, five, two. So 1 into 6 minus 5, 2 into 4 minus 3, 3 into 10 minus 9. So minus 1, this is minus 2, this is plus 3, 0. So two possibilities. Unique solution is not possible. Infinite number of solutions or no solutions. So this one is cancelled out. This one is also cancel out. Then we have to calculate delta 1. 3, 3, 1. 1, 2, 3. 2, 3, 5. 3, 3, 1. 2, 3, 5. 2, 3, 5. 3, 1, 2. So, if we calculate 3, this is 6 minus 5. Minus 2. 6 minus 1. 3 into 15 minus 3. So, this is 3. This is 5 minus 10. Minus 10. This is 3, 15 minus 3, 12, 36. So, not equals to 0. So, no solution. System of equation has no solution. Delta equals to 0. Any one of delta i not equals to 0. You can also 
use alternative method look if you add 1 plus 2 then we are getting 3x1 5x2 2x3 equals to 6 now what is third equation 3x1 5x2 2x3 equals to 1 so look there is present parallel plane parallel plane geometrically so no solution no solutions and this is using theory of determinant so today so i have solved some problems regarding consistency and inconsistency of linear simultaneous equations these are all problem of wbje and je main so if you solve this problem this type of problem you must get one four marks problem in je main and also two to three marks problem in wb jee -E. so you solve the rest of the problem from description box thank you